Welcome back to another episode. This is Layla, and today we are talking about why it's important to keep our emotions and spirituality to ourselves. This is probably the most common mistake that I see in the spiritual community where women are so open and so honest. And this comes from a subconscious belief that if they tell the truth about who they are and their their hobbies and their plan in life and their vision and when they just open up like a, a book, right? That they're going to find people who love them for who they are. And this is where the majority of spiritual women gets exploited and abused the most. Because this is actually a people-pleasing wound. It is. Because you're basically giving your energy, your presence, your attention to a man that hasn't earned you yet. He, he hasn't earned your energy. And you're just giving yourself away. And also, you're also giving men the playbook to hurt your feelings and trigger you and when you can trigger someone emotionally you basically own them you can manipulate them you can control them and that's why a lot of broke men use emotional manipulation tactics to have women in their beds or mattress on the floor (laughs) whatever situation their car whatever situation they're in they're using emotional tactics on women because they know that it works very quickly to control and manipulate a situation or a woman and a lot of women wear their heart on their sleeves they tell everything about them they tell about their childhood trauma which is one of the best way to get abused by someone else because you're basically telling them this is you know I have low standards and this is how I allowed people to treat me or especially if you talk about an ex like you always want to lie about your ex and lie about not only the fact that you guys are on good terms even if you're not you want to lie about this and you also want to lie about what they've been gifting you because subconsciously a man is always in competition with other men and this is like gold right there okay um men do that subconsciously it just activates their primal instinct of being in competition with other men men are ruled by the planet mars mars is the planet of war it's you know, men are programmed or coded to be hunters and warriors. And and by the way, the ones that are not like that, the men that are very passive, um, that don't embody their primal energy, you know, they're, they're spiritually and physically broke as well. They don't have money. They don't have resources and everything. They don't have a purpose they are miserable because they're not aligned with their biology, with their core essence, their core energy. So of course we have men on both of the spectrum, but I'm just saying like the natural instinct of a man is to go to war. And so by telling a man, of course you have to be subtle, you know, but by telling a man that, you know, oh yeah, oh, that hotel is amazing. I, I went there with um, with my ex. It was such a beautiful trip, you know. Oh, how much is it? Oh, I have no idea. You know, he's the one who took care of everything, of course. So I, I, I'm not sure, but I think you can go on the website and, and see online whatever the fuck. <laughs> no, don't, don't say whatever, whatever the fuck. I'm just talking to you guys like that. But of course, that's not how you want it. You know, you want to be ladylike when you talk to a man and give him the illusion that he's the one in power. But that's the true power. That's the point where a lot of spiritual women get it wrong. You know, they think, oh, if I'm, 
you know, all girly and, and I talk sweetly and, and feminine, you know, he's going to think I'm weak. No, if you've been, if you've been dealing with broke men, of course, they're going to think you're weak because they're trying to find a women to build themselves up on <laughs> so that's why that that's the only reason but when you're dealing with a man that's very masculine he's going to absolutely adore the fact that you're very radiant very magnetic very feminine so it's actually a cue if a guy uh, doesn't i don't know appreciate you when you're all dressed up and 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 feminine and glowing Um, yeah, it's a sign that he's either gay, he's a closet gay, or he just does not like you like that. Like he just maybe just wants to uh, get you laid and bounce later on by using another emotional tactic. Because a lot of spiritual women get, you know, all trapped in these like, I'm your twin flame and I'm your soulmate. But have you noticed that the men who talk like that don't have a place to live? Yeah, let let that one sink in. <laughs> so, emotions and spirituality is a very intimate and personal practice. It's something that has to be kept for ourselves. And of course, if you want to, if we want to share it with other women, you know, it's another thing as well. But you also have to be mindful that you're exposing yourself to your most vulnerable aspect. You know, because some women get jealous of other women and then they use the information you've told them about your past, your emotions, your spirituality, like they're going to use everything or they might do it behind your back. So not even in your face, like you don't even know what's happening, but they're telling everybody your business because they're jealous (laughs) and you don't know. You're just, you just think you have this amazing friend. So at least just, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying not to have friends, but at least be mindful about the information that you choose to share and be mindful that they can use that information at some point to hurt you so you know just keep things to yourself and this is why by the way um all the venusian temples the pagan temples that are all you know it's all the same it's all connected it's always been secretive because well first of all it's very powerful of course so we want to protect the truth we want to protect love we want to protect you know mother earth Um, but also because of that, because it had to be, it has still has to be protected from the egoic mind, from the, from the masculine wound, the masculine shadow. It has to be protected at all costs. It's like protecting a child, you know, what are you going to do? Protect the child after someone hurt them? Like, doesn't make sense. And people that are like, oh, well, I'm just going to be myself and they're going to love me for who I am. Those are the women that are getting fucked over in so many ways. Like these women are getting bent over and backwards, spreading their cheeks (laughs) physically and (laughs) in a figurative way, like both. You know, they're giving money to men. They're, um, They're taking these homeless men into their home next with their children there like it's crazy absolutely insane so what i recommend is if you're going to you know post on social media you also want to um, not use your real name or not even ideally not even show your face but if you do want to show your face or whatever don't use your real name because then if you have some people colleagues whatever that are going to see your content or whatever they're not going to judge you and it's just you basically put boundaries that's what it is it's more about it's not about this like fear-based thing like oh my god i'm gonna get attacked it's not like that it's like you're putting these like really strong boundaries like this is why by the way like all the queens and high priestesses have always lived in castles it's to protect them you know physically by the the masculine energy by the king the high priest so yeah i mean i know a lot of women are are not going to agree with that but that's just my opinion and honestly i feel like a lot of women would have avoided so many abusive exploitation i don't know who like you name it like there's there are so many different ways spiritual women are being 
attacked and abused and exploited and even you know when you cross the u.s borders like that happened to me twice actually no not not twice sorry well twice they, they took me like aside basically but that one time that was that was only one time because i learned my lesson <laughs> um they went through my phone right because i just i was like whatever i don't have anything to, to hide and then they went on my social media and then they saw all this like spiritual stuff and the border patrol whatever how you want to call them you know and by the way these people decide if i get on the plane so i have to like shut my mouth and just like listen to them right like i, I can't be rude or like funny about it so i'm just like sitting there and they kept on saying things like oh so you're one of these people like you're one of them right you're one of those and i was like trying to stay calm and just i was just trying to be like neutral and answer correctly and just say things like well i'm not I, i'm not sure i understand your question sir can you <laughs> rephrase it in a different way like and i wasn't trying to be funny i wasn't laughing i just you know basically i was telling them that you know like what the fuck do you mean you know And they kept me, by the way, in that room for like two hours, like right before my flight almost took off. And they th that's it. They just wanted to bully me. That's all it was. Like they, there was no reason to keep me for like two hours. They just wanted to bully my spiritual beliefs. So that was actually a really good lesson for me. Um, I never travel with my phone anymore. I always bring a phone that's empty. There's literally nothing in the phone. I just put like a, a chip when I get to the new country and that's it. Like okay well I'll go through my phone <laughs> there's nothing in it not even like an app all these like apple apps and that's it like the regular ones that's it no social media nothing i am a robot <laughs> i don't have any beliefs so anyway that's it for today's episode let me know what you think i'm gonna make a part two because obviously there's more to say about this and i'll see you tomorrow <laughs>